Hey there, welcome back to Icepick Trotsky's Let's Nuzlocke Pokemon Diamond. As you can see, here we are at the title screen. We're going to pick up pretty much where we left off, but we got a little bit of catch-up to do. In particular, we have a couple of Pokemon to go back and catch. Uh, so let's get started on that right away. Today, I am recording this, of course, on Friday, which means we definitely have to go back and uh, grab our... Uh, new, uh, try to grab a Drifloon, and only get one shot at it, but it's going to be wor totally worth it. Um, pick some berries that I planted. Uh, yep, definitely going to do that. Uh, don't think these are done yet. Water it. Definitely good. Definitely good. And I've already pre-watered this one for the things I'm definitely going to plant there. Uh, go ahead and Plant a peach there, I guess. And, yeah, it's already watered. I'm going to grab this item I left behind. Hey, it's a Pokeball. Nice. So, we'll, uh, are, are you a fight? Yes, you are. Okay. I hope you have something I can fight against with my Bleasel that I just recently caught. Oh, that I haven't pulled out of the PC yet. So, I guess that's kind of a moot point. Um, yeah, just take this thing out. And then we'll see Pachirisu. Um, who needs a level? Uh, you know what? You can just fight it. I'm not too concerned about a Pachirisu. Oh, really? Okay. Ah, and I critical through his attack, Lord. That's classic. All right. So we'll press on. All the way down. Because we got to go back to Valley Windworks. All right, great success. So we have a Drifloon here. I don't want to use a uh, bite on this thing. Okay, here we go. Oh God, it's level twenty-two. Um, we'll survive a bite at level twenty-two, right? Jesus. Okay. Dust ball. That seems fitting. All right. Um. So I'm gonna name this one. Continuing our theme of musicians. Uh, let's see. Drifloon is always high. Uh. So. Uh. Hmm. Drifloon is always high. Ghost flying. Uh, honestly, I'm not even sure what to name this one. Um, uh, I'll name her after Annie Lennox. And not that I'm going to cast any aspersions on Annie Lennox's character, but I'm running out of female musicians to name things after. But anyway, success. We went back to Valley Wind Works and caught ourselves a Drifloon. Um... Not sure if I'm going to use her yet, um, but it's nice to know that I've got the option. Let's sprinkle some water on these you know, while I'm here. Do the same thing over here as well, because I know I've planted a couple of plants here as well. Up here, right? Oh, hey, the orange sprouted. I'll take them. Go ahead and place another one. Why not? And then we'll water. Water this one too. And now we got to go over to the uh, Floroma field and uh, see what was attracted to our honey that we placed yesterday. Uh... Oh. I guess I missed my chance. Okay, then. Um, here's what we'll do. Uh, I uh, should have come back at the end of the episode yesterday to uh, take care of that. So here's what we'll do. We'll run down to the uh, flower store over there and uh, 
get a, uh, another honey. I think I can buy them here. And go slather the bark of that tree. And then come back at the end of the episode and hope that the tree is shaking. And we'll catch it then. Uh, nope. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Thanks for the free berry, though. Uh, and will you give me honey? Damn it. Okay, I guess I missed my chance. Well, we'll catch a bug soon, and hopefully we'll be carrying some honey, and then we can give that a try. Uh, I feel bad that I missed that chance. Oh! Oh, and I gotta go get my weasel, too. Um, and we're, then we're gonna have a tough decision to make. Um... Eric the Starly, or Staravia, really hasn't been doing a great job as far as damage for me, really. Um, well, first off, we're definitely taking our Buizel and moving him into the party, for sure. And replacing our Bidoof, because we don't need it anymore. Um, but then I've got this Drifloon. And that's really tempting in place of my Staravia, because... My Staravia hasn't been doing a whole lot of damage. And I've never raised a Drifloon before. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to replace our Staravia with this Drifloon. It still ke keeps us with our... Uh, uh, our, uh, uh, our flying coverage. Which is good. Which is good. Check the stats. Serious nature, decent stats. Raises speed if a held item is used. Okay, I'm definitely going to put leftovers on you. <laughs> uh, if it works that way. I don't know if it does, but we're definitely going to. And then um, I need to heal up as well from catching that Drifloon. I, I didn't. I forgot that the Drifloon's level 22. That was dangerous. Uh, my, my Luxio was in trouble that fight. Uh, but anywho, um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, swap our uh, Buizel to the front of the party because he definitely needs to be in the front of the party. He's got a lot of levels to get. And then let's um, let's get moving. Uh, we got a few more trainer battles, if memory serves. And uh, we've also got to get through Eterna Forest. Um, and you guys know how Eternal Forest goes. I'm going to grind until the end of days in there. Um, so uh, I'll probably pause the recording then and uh, get some get some more recording done, uh, get some more grinding done. I'm going to probably grind to 20 in there, uh, which is just sort of what you do when you meet Cheryl. You, you grind forever because you can't die. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, you guys won't have to watch. I'm definitely not going to make you watch that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, fight a bug catcher. Oh, wait. He's not going to fight. Oh, well, we were right at it. Um, okay. Uh, and I can't go over here, right? Right? Okay, that comes out elsewhere. So I guess it's time for... The grind. I will be back to the recording in a little while. Right, so I totally forgot that I had to do a catch in here as well. Uh, so, you know, I'm interrupting my grinding session to try to catch one of these Badoo. Uh, let's uh, hope that Iggy is up to it. Uh, just a quick attack one. And then uh, hopefully we can kill one, and then I'm basically just going to throw Pokeballs at the other one and <laughs> until uh, I catch it. Ah, oh, crap. Iggy needs to get the hell out of there. Uh, go ahead and swap in our flyer so that uh, we can play it safe. Let's see. Uh, payback's not likely to... Actually, well, I can just kill one of them, can't I? So kill one, and then uh, pursuit. Sure, you can learn pursuit. Um, water sport is a totally useless move. Okay, and now we're just going to spam Pokeballs while this uh, Chansey does the attacking on the 
Well, moot point. Okay, so we caught a Badoo. Very good. I don't know if I'm going to use him or yet not, but or use him or not yet, but now at least you guys know I've caught him. Um, and uh, let's see, what do we now name it? Well, <laughs> I mean, we're going to broaden it a bit from rock to just musicians in general, and we're going to name our uh, future Roserade Snoop. And uh, that's going to be obvious reasons, and I'm just going to let you figure them out. All right, back to the endless grind. I'll be back after a time. Uh, this is just me popping in again to let you know that, hey, I found a honey. So uh, I'm going to go see if I can't uh, go put this on that tree back in Floroma Town, and then I'll continue grinding. That's all I have to report for the moment. Uh, the grinding goes well. Back in a while. All right, and uh, grind is over. I did run back to uh, see if I could uh, see if that honey tree had borne any fruit, and it did not, unfortunately. Uh, so I'll go back at the end of this video and uh, pick up whatever spawns there, I hope. Uh, I did catch a Badoo in here, which is, in retrospect, kind of a bummer, because as soon as I stopped recording and started grinding I ran into like <laughs> nothing but murkrows and beautifies and silcoons and cascoons and I was and lots of bunnieries and I was like man I'd love all these more than I'd like a Badoo but I can't be beggars versus choosers because it's a Nuzlocke run and you get what you get uh, here we are route 205 um, that's basically where we're sitting uh, Pretty much uh, no change. I haven't even, uh, of course, fought these trainers yet. Uh, so we are, of course, ground up all the way to level 20, level 22 in the case of the uh, Drift Bloom, because, of course, I never grinded the Drift Bloom. <laughs> but I've got four fishermen here and an angry lion, so let's just get killing. <laughs> oh, wait, you're not a trainer. Are you a trainer? Okay, cool. <laughs> So one of the one of the moves I learned while doing this, of course, my Luxio learned Spark, which means all water things must die, and they're going to die quickly and frequently, and it's not going to be pretty, and it's going to be great for uh, experience. I can't complain about that at all. Um, so we'll just continue kicking some ass. Down goes Magikarp. Why are you even training this Magikarp? Oh god, this is the this is the magic arp guy. He's got like <laughs> five level tens and one um, five level tens, one level fifteen if memory serves. So I'll just put in Iggy to kill them since I'm not in a hurry. And uh, he's got the lowest experience, I believe. Uh, he picked up Swift, which is cool. And uh, he also picked up Pursuit, uh, which will be a handy tool as well. Uh, and uh, he kicks butt now. Uh, he was a little bit weak when I started training him, but he's a lot better now. And uh, you can see him. He's uh, filleting Magikarp like nobody's business. Yeah, he's just got six level 10 Magikarp. God damn. You know, if you condense that, you can have like two Gyarados. You poor bastard. Uh, are you a trainer? Yes. Okay, cool. I'll have my Luxio consume them for dinner. Oh, what is it with these guys in Magikarp? Ugh. Just... Go away. I did check when I came out. This is, unfortunately, the game playing tricks on us again. It's still Route 205 on the other side, so we don't get a catch for this route. Believe me, I kind of hoped so. Uh, my, uh, I realized that uh, now that my uh, Monferno is a Monferno and has a fighting move, I don't really need my Machop anymore, so I'll probably swap my Machop out as soon as I get something I feel like I'm really worth training. Um, maybe that Badoo I caught, maybe if I get lucky and get something really cool out of that uh, honey tree back in Floroma, I'll raise what I get out of that. Female Comb Bee would be cool. I've never raised a Vespa Quen before. Uh, but we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, the Machop will stay in the party for now, because I don't really have anything better. Uh, no need to uh, replace him. Uh, I'm going to get all these berries, though, and replant them, and then uh, water them. Definitely going to do that, because that's handy. Uh, let's see. I'll plant... Whoops. Let's see. I'll plant one of each of these, I guess. 
an Oren, an Asper, and I'll plant a Picha, and I'll plant a Cherry. And then I will water them all. Doot, done. There we go. Uh, right, so no new catch on 205, so we'll press on into Eterna City. All right, we got some stuff here. Um, I will uh, just walk around the city doing nothing in particular at the moment. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that the Eterna, um, there's a galactic presence here. But I'm just going to do the usual thing, walk around the town, uh, Grab up uh, any items that people are giving away. Uh, and also, isn't this where you get the underground? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, here's how we're going to do with that, guys. Um, uh, I will mess around in the underground off camera until I get uh, one and only one uh, fossil. And I'll go back to... Uh, what's the name of it? I'll go back to... Uh, Orberg and get one fossil from the underground, whatever it is. Okay, Gardenia is the leader here, so uh, our uh, Monferno and our Driftblam are going to get a lot of action, I think. Uh, let's keep walking around here. Condos! Usually an item in one of these. Let's run around and talk to folks. Ah! Hold still. I don't remember who gives you stuff. No, I'm not going to trade my Bweasel for your Chatot. I don't need your Chatot. Your Chatot sucks, and my Bweasel's awesome. And I don't need to change any nicknames, but it's good to know that that's here in case I need to come back and change some nicknames. Uh, do, do, do. Got an item for me? Oh, Recycle, huh? Okay. I don't even know what that that move does, uh, and that tells me I'm probably not going to use it. Um, yeah, I think I'm more likely to use something if I have any idea what it does. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't even care about the uh, contests. Uh, I'm not going to do a Mactavius run. <laughs> not much point there. He's already done it. Wouldn't be novel if I did it, and I don't really have the patience for it. Particularly for the fact that I'd have to record them all, successful or not, and then do a lot of video editing, which I just frankly don't feel up for. Um, so, yeah. Uh, well, I guess we'll go ahead and... I mean, the next... Um, I need to go get that item. I'm going to go find a way to get that item. Oh, it's just back here, isn't it? Uh, wait, I have to go in here, right? Right? Yes, okay. Um... Let's go ahead and torch Gardenia's gym. Do I have Nick in front? Okay, let's get him in front. Uh, Monferno's going to lead the way, and I'll swap the Drifloon in there if things get bad, but I don't think it's going to get bad. I'm not too concerned. Um, oh, yeah, i got to find all the people in the gym. All right, then. All right, let's just... Burn some plants. This shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can remember where people are. There's one behind these, isn't there? Oh, that's right. You got to do it in order. Uh, okay. So let's look around and find the first one. Ah, there she is. Sup? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I brought a fire type into the gym. Burn. <laughs> I'd be surprised if he doesn't one-hit everything all the way up to Gardenia. I will be surprised. I mean, maybe this Roselia will survive a flame wheel? No. Okay, so this is uh, this is going to be a quick gym, I think. <laughs> this is not going to take long at all. Um, yeah, so here's the next one. Probably uh, my Monferno and my Drifloon are going to get a little bit ahead of everybody now because... Uh, they're going to eviscerate this gym. I am not concerned um, about this at all. Please knock out another Badoo. Thank you much. Have a seat. And one more. Make it a clean sweep, sir. 
Good night. Have a good evening. No level. And I'll keep you in because you are one-shotting everything in this gym. <laughs> uh, something I am uh, totally okay with. Um, let's see. Where's the next one? Oh, right there. Right. Uh, the one I was looking for before. Another aroma lady. A turtwig. Oh, I might not one-shot you. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> this is depressing. Uh, but this is this is the reward you get for picking Jimchar. I mean, you have to deal with Roxanne in the first gym, but once you've done that, then you get to beat the ever-loving crap out of Gardenia's gym, and that's your reward. It's just like, hey, you know, I know you've had a tough time up to this part. Have a grass gym. It'll make you feel so much better. And you know, it really does. <laughs> Of course, I didn't have to worry about much with, uh, excuse me, not Roxanne, different game, with Rourke's gym uh, because I had a Machop and, well, that basically took care of that. Now, I know Gardenia's Roserade could give me a problem, but that's only if I don't one-shot it just like everything else. And, uh, frankly, I'm thinking we're going through another round of one-shots here. I mean, these are higher levels, so they might take two hits. No... Uh, okay, what about the next one? You have a Turtwig too. Maybe you can survive a Flame Wheel? No. Well, now Nick is level 23. So we'll go ahead and uh, let... Uh, let's see. Actually, come to think of it, Roserade is uh, Grass Poison, but I think it might have a Dark Move. So instead of putting in our Drifloon here, I'm just going to go ahead and have him sweep the gym because I'm not going to take any chances. Can he one-shot everything? Oh, so close! Oh, he came so close to one-shotting Gardenia's entire gym. <laughs> that was sad. All right, very good. Yep, yep, thanks for the badge. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh... Yeah, yeah, that was... That was really easy. <laughs> I'll take it, though. I will certainly take it. Thanks for the TM and the badge. I'll be on my way. Yep. Let's go heal up. And uh, we got to get cut from somewhere. I don't remember where in this town where we get cut from. But let's heal up first, and then we'll worry about it. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. Uh, do, 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 do. Heal up. Go ahead and swap somebody else to the front of the party because our Monfernos are doing great. Um, I think I'll put uh, Iggy in front because I like Weasel. I think he's a solid Pokemon. Do, 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 do. Up to the front, please, Iggy. Thank you very much. Um, and let's uh, run around town a little bit. What's up, Galactic Grunt guy? Uh, let's see. And there's the Galactic HQ. Oh, yeah, that's where we get cut. What's up, Cynthia? Totally normal trainer person. <laughs> uh, who am I going to give cut to? That's a good question. That is a really good question. I mean, I don't want to give it to somebody. <sighs> hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go back and use cut anyway. I gotta go back and get my uh, a various number of things that I've missed. Uh, okay, who's the unfortunate bastard who's getting cut? Oh, uh, my Drifloon can learn it. Hmm. Well, you still have Scratch starter guy, so we'll go ahead and replace Scratch with Cut since it's slightly better and it doesn't miss very much. Um, so that's done. Uh, let's run around the rest of the houses in here and grab anything extra. I don't really want to do anything else. Uh, I don't really want to do anything else in particular uh, uh, plot-wise this episode because we already had a badge get and that's, pretty, that's plenty plotty, I think. What's up, Galactic Grunt? Hmm. Can I go over here? 
Ah, Route 211 is over there. You can catch a new buddy over there. Is there a hidden item over here? No? Okay. So I'll have to go over there and catch a new buddy, that's for sure. Um, let's pop in here. Oh, wait, already. No, wait, no. Didn't pop in there before. Different house, different house. Let's pop in here. Uh, talk to these folks. Let's uh, go run into uh, Cyrus and Barry. Oh, wait. That comes after the galactic stuff. That's right. Uh, I remember what's back here. Yoink! <laughs> Draco plate get. Not that I have any dragons, but it's good to have all the same. Um, let's see. Continue running around town, grabbing various things. That's the herbal shop. That's the underground man's house, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, so I'm going to grab the Explorer kit, and then I'm going to do the underground stuff, and then, uh, once I'm done with that, I'll, uh, grab a, uh, fossil, and, uh, here's what we'll do. Here's what we're going to do. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to grab a fossil from the underground. That's probably going to take me a while. And I'm also got to go back and I, I'm i going to go ahead and do it now, actually. I'm going to start running back to uh, Floroma and uh, see if uh, that um, herp derp, see if that honey tree is done. And if it is, I'll catch that guy and I'll also get the, uh, the benefit of, oh, hey, more berries. I'll catch him, or her, and I'll also get the benefit of uh, a uh, fossil from the underground. And I'll do all that, and uh, we'll call the episode after that. I'll be sure to keep everything interesting, as much as I can, uh, to um, you know show you guys what's going on. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Alright folks, like I said, I was going to dig until I found a fossil, and I have found a fossil. Now i got to dig it out and make sure I don't lose it. Getting close. Got it. I don't even care about this stuff. Got my fossil. Skull fossil. Okay. Now we got some fun. Uh, I think I'm going to put my Geodude away because now I got something a little bit more interesting and something that I can evolve on my own. Plus, that doesn't have the four times weakness to water and grass. So, let's go ahead and head back upstairs. Let's uh, also pop back in here and see if our honey tree is ready to go. That would be nice. It is still not. Right, well, you guys have my promise. I am going to catch this thing, whatever it is. And uh, I'm not going to do it this episode. Or I'll, um, I'll just show you guys what I caught in the box. Uh, because I don't think this thing is going to get done anytime soon. And it would require me to wait a long time before I put this episode up. And I'm pretty sure you guys would rather just have me get this episode up as soon as I can. So, let's just run back, all the way back, to uh, Orberg City. And I'll give you guys the heads up on my new party member. Give me a minute. Another brief thing to report. Uh, while I was running around getting these things ready, uh, this happened. Uh, so that'll make grinding a little easier. Uh, back in a little bit. Alright, back again. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Kept us waiting unacceptable. This is your credos. You'll be good to it, okay? Aw, cred. I forgot to go free a spot in my inventory. Inventory. Free a spot in my party. And uh, replace my Geodude with my Rampardos. Or Krenados as I originally planned. So let's just take care of that real quick. Someone system, deposit Pokemon, have a seat. Thanks for training with me, but goodbye now. And let's run back and grab that Kranidos. They come in at level 20, unless I'm completely forgetting something, and uh, um, we'll... Uh, I hope I'm not wrong about that. I mean, I, I can grind. It's not a big deal. But 
you know, in honor of the ultimate headbanger, of course, we're going to be naming him Ozzy. I mean, who? Well, we couldn't really name him anything else, could we? <laughs> so, we got ourselves a Kranidos. Very cool, very cool. So, let's uh, go ahead and give him Rock Smash, since uh, because of who he's replacing. Do, 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 do. Uh, Rock Smash. Give that to him. Because, of course, he can learn it. Uh, we can check out his moves, too. Well, probably the least useful one here is Scary Face, since it doesn't even hit all the time, for Pete's sake. So, out with Scary Face, in with Rock Smash. Good job, good job, and we press on. Uh, I'm going to check the Honey Tree one last time uh, before I end this video. And I'll chat a little bit about what my plans are for the next video uh, while I'm walking over there. Uh, not particularly concerned about any of the encounters I'm going to run into there. Uh, there aren't going to be any exploding geodudes on the way there, I don't think. So we'll just sort of hoof it back and uh, check that tree one last time before I end this video. Um, as for my plans going forward, uh, we still need to find a replacement for my Machop. I'm still not sure who I want to replace my Machop with. Uh, and I've got several new routes, or at least a couple different places I know I can catch new buddies at. Uh, there's the route to the east of uh, Eterna. Um, eventually there will be Cycling Road and the Hidden... Uh, I'm definitely going to see if I can't get lucky enough to catch a Gibble in that uh, Wayward Cave. That would be cool. Um, but uh, if you guys have any ideas of things I should be specifically looking for... Uh, feel free to send me a message. Um, you know, let me know. Uh, as for what I'm actually planning on doing in the next video, I'm definitely going to do more plot stuff. I got to kick Team Galactic out of Eterna City, and uh, as you can see, our tree is still slathered with honey, and there's still no friggin' Pokemon there. Uh, so I'll end this episode with uh, a team stat shot. Uh, first, we got Iggy the Bleasel with a hasty nature. Hey, that's a fa that's a speed increasing nature. Can't go wrong with that. As you can see, he's already super fast. That just means he's going to be even super faster, which I'm totally cool with. And he's got good attack and special def attack to back it up. He'll be a good sweeper. Uh, then we got, of course, Joan the Luxio uh, with good attack and decent other stats. Uh, Nick the Chimchar, uh, Monferno now. Uh, Good all-around stats, speed, special attack, and attack. Pretty good all-around. Uh, and then we got uh, Annie the uh, Drifloon. Uh, stats are low, except for HP, which is a pretty damn high stat. And that Unburdened ability is, seems like an interesting uh, use. I wonder if uh, I wonder if I can use that in a, 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 a clever way to make it more interesting. Um, and then uh, Chris the Machop is the one that's going to get replaced. He's got good, okay, well, he's got okay stats. Good moves, but only okay stats. And then, of course, the newest member of the team is uh, Ozzy with that absurd attack, a serious nature. And uh, he's going to be holding the quick claw for sure. So let me go ahead and take care of that right now. Anyway, but uh, anyway, that's... Uh, Thanks for uh, watching this episode all the way through. Uh, got that experience share. That's pretty wicked. Uh, I also found a silver powder and a blue shard while I was running around. But anyway, you take this quick claw, and uh, I'll save the game. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.